sir so what did you find so the approach how to i mean handle the question mm -hmm. listing mm -hmm. out options and choosing mm -hmm. which is the best according to you of course mm -hmm. okay so listing out the option i think is the main thing mm -hmm. listing out options is the main thing hmm uh, that's what i understood okay. i mean stakeholders people okay. what is the ethical issue involved okay uh -huh. and then short term long term consequences of your decisions okay on what ethical principle you are going through i mean your decision is based on what ethical principle kind of okay Oh. utilitarian or it can't come categorical imperative that kind oh. of okay hmm. Hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. fine okay let us take this question that uh, case 105 district managed magistrate monitoring an election campaign in your district, a well-known political leader is campaigning in the area. One night, he is giving a speech at a huge rally. And because of the stature of the leader and size of the crowd, you are personally present there. According to election rules, all campaign rallies must end at 10 p.m. In this case, the leader does not end his speech, even at 10.30 p.m. What should you do? So what will be the... Format of your answer. First of all, um, do you see these are not really major dilemmas? Many times uh, the case is very clear. Okay. Um, and sometimes, even if it is not clear in the actual situation, it is clear about what you should write in the examination. So, and find uh, they don't really test much, but then this is the exam, and uh, you need to know what you should write. Okay. Um, first of all, what is the what in essence is the main issue here? What in essence is the main issue? Okay. What in essence is the main issue? A powerful person violating a law. Powerful person violating a law. And you are there to control. So, should you implement the rule? So, what are the options available? Should you implement the rule? Okay. So, what would what do you say, Suni? Sir, I went through the solution. So, mm. so first thing is like you stop it right away. Okay. Uh. Second would be inform the election commission commission mm. about his negligence. Mm. But the election commission would ask us, why didn't you take the action then? Mm. 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 In the third case, you quietly inform him that your time's up. Uh, you mm. should wrap up and else uh, people would, uh, I mean, other parties would make a huge hue and mm. cry out of it. Mm. Okay. So third is better. <coughs> Devan, do you think there is any other way or, I mean is there any better or improved version of this, these answers this answer okay Devan, what do you say sir uh, actually the third option i found best because uh, mm. i have to follow rules but i must also recognize power mm. and uh, also the consequences of the action that i take 
the mm. third action it seems that i also recognize the power of the big politician and also mm. the crowd and his supporters they would not create immediate ruckus in law and order situation mm. so i found that it is the best and otherwise i could not come up with any other solution okay Mm. So, just one second. Mm. Okay, they want anything more to hear. There is a violation of the rule. Okay, and the violation affects the quality of electoral process because electoral rules are meant for certain things. to create an equal ground for all the candidates and not to make it more convenient for the powerful people so laws are there laws are meant for that and laws should be followed and you are there to implement how you go about it is simply a matter of means means is to be gentle polite but tough and finally do it not postpone devansh anything else sir uh, maybe i can combine option 2 and 3 so immediately okay. i'll be gentle uh, so that he wraps up his rally mm. and then later on i can inform the election commission and then commission under uh the pa- power which is had it has it can then take uh, certain actions against that politician concerned no but if you does it on a regular basis not for one thing when you are when you are proceeding to punish him you are only proceeding to punish him but in a gradual way you are reminding and finally you are going up finally you are just give few minutes to wind up you are saying politician may be encouraged to float the rule again no sir so to Less counter time. that uh, to counter that uh, he doesn't float the rule again uh, not immediately but later on uh, action can be taken under model code of conduct that uh, he will not be allowed to campaign for 15 days okay. or so okay is there a way of any providing any bigger picture in this why should we think only sim in terms of election rule and uh, bureaucrat what you are supposed to do how do you i mean this is this is fine where do you place election rule where do you place election commission and what does it mean to the question of what are the ethical issues and stakeholders maybe mayank has something to say ha huh? please mayank please proceed hmm. yes, i was thinking that in the moment uh, the politician has the power because his power derives from the people he is addressing in a way at at that point of time uh, okay so what do you do no he he is he is deriving power from the people that is true so what do you say so so in do the you moment mean say, we can't do you mean to say the uh, bureaucrat should not i mean should let him go because he is after all no sir no, no sir i don't mean that i say uh, i mean uh, so in the moment we can't do take much action in 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 that moment that is why systematically going about it remind and then go slowly and finally do it you mean to say complaining later will help yes sir so but, but what uh, are you again, but what are you going to do then are you in a position to do it i it, it it assumes that you are in a position to do it because it's after all must end and in the doesn't end his speech even at 10:30 so you remind and him and then say slowly you you do it and do you know the way you do 
will uh, set a precedent to others later okay if you if you are tough once then the next time people will be more careful that is the only way but if you are lenient then others also will will take advantage and then if you are trying to be tough in some other case then they will ask why were you not tough then in election time is a lot of competition okay i think the only thing is you can do gently but finally this has to be done this has to be done and at their least i don't think one can one can allow even if there are people a mm, stand and in this case the leader doesn't end his speech even at 10:30 Yes, remind and then proceed. The huge rally because of the stature of the leader and size of the crowd, personally presented. Only remind and uh, slowly what action you can take. But if you you should def definitely remind. Uh, if that if. action at that time cannot be taken for some reason if if it is going on then election commission if uh, stopping there leads to certain law and order problems abrupt stopping if it is going to be if it is going to affect but definitely what what are you doing to stop that event or what are you doing to stop similar events in future is an issue whether you are trying or not only when you cannot do at the time without causing major disruption maybe you have a justification to report but if you can you should do it then and there what do you say mayank isn't it so mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, so something similar happened in uh, college. I mean, not similar, but oh. uh, there was this fest going on, college fest, and the oh. performer was increasing the sound level. But oh. below, uh, above a certain decibel level, he couldn't have gone. Okay. Oh. But he was still going. So they abruptly, the crowd wanted the sound to be higher. The performer wanted the sound to be higher. But then the dean students came, and then he uh, decreased the sound. So, so. in that moment the if the performer as well as the crowd wanted it to go a certain way but because he had the authority in that moment the dean he could do it okay just let me so there are some sounds the new place let me try okay 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 anything else so so what i'm trying to say is depends on the extent of authority the officer present has on the situation that is true that is true extent of his ability extent of authority that's yes, fine that's true that's true he's right okay sir Sure. Sure. sir what if since it is election time what if all the people all the all the politicians are flouting the rules i mean you can be at a one place only so what will you do that is why one has to think of how to go about in fact all the politicians follow the rules there is no way to stop but it is a matter of how much effective you can be which rules violation you can stop and who is the worst violator and how you can stop for example tn session did something different but other election commissioners did not okay i think we will see what tn session did and we can use him as a good example in our answers okay so let us identify people like this tn session is one such person tn session brought huge changes in the way elections were conducted 
Okay. So this is one thing, deensation. Okay, done. One example. Okay. But can you say why these rules are important and why democracy, working of democracy is related to the way elections are conducted and the importance of um, equality? In, can we relate to the problem in, of in administering the elections and the role of bureaucracy? Okay, so you can make it like an essay. I found that this is there in Divya's answers. She doesn't answer simply what you should do that this. There is a some theoretical ground to her answers. You can watch. It is, she is widening the scope of the case, more like an essay. It is simply not about what you should do. It is a totality. Okay, role of bureaucracy, democracy, elections, role of bureaucracy. Okay, why should we think only in terms of a law being a law being violated? He takes law being violated, and what should you do? But uh, not in all violations of law are, are equally dangerous and significant. So why is this law? Why why this is important? And what happens if you don't? What is the role of bureaucracy, and why you should do it? Let me tell you. This is to have one idea of the questions, but I think you will have a theoretical idea when we do Cooper. We are going to do Cooper. Okay. Once we do Cooper, you you will look at the same thing in a more theoretical way. There is nothing more theoretical except that look at the situation and in that situation, what is the role of bureaucracy and what you are supposed to do. Instead of narrowly thinking in terms of should you stop or should you give time and report the election commission. That's what I understood. What do you say, Mayank? So I was talking about how MCC is uh, violated. The violation of MCC is very commonplace mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. So it's a strengthening MCC through a through a law. That is ah, exactly. Thank you. How to strengthen MCC in general? The, the, such things also can be written. Why MCC came into existence? What is the need? It is like that. It is almost on that issue, around that issue, it is about code of conduct and elections. That is what I understood. It is not simply about what you do to the politician. Because I found that there is really no other way of making your answer different from others unless you do, unless you handle it broadly. What do you say, Devansh? Yes, sir, uh, Divya did, uh, did this. Don't you think Divya widened the scope? Yes, sir, she, she kept on saying that I tried to use my knowledge across papers. Mm. So using GS2 knowledge in GS4, writing about mm. MCC. Mm. Mm. She is writing almost everything. Her answers are not like this. They're not narrow. They're almost like essays on that issue. Because let me ask you, if they have really given ethical dilemmas, and there is a lot to think, then there is a lot to write. But they're not giving really such ethical dilemmas. They are, they are very straightforward cases. Of course, you, you should stop. That's not a dilemma. Either you stop then and there or you take time is the only thing.
Okay. So, you have to think in terms of widening. I, I'm just thinking how to improve. I know this one, I think this is a very famous book. And most students, uh, many students read this book. Of all the books I found, this is most sensible. Variety of cases. Some true cases and reasonable answers. But this is not enough. Okay. Think about it. Uh, next, 107. Okay, not one. Okay, one not eight. Sorry. Young IAS officer, you have been posted as a subdivisional magistrate in a remote area in the northeast. You find that the road connections in the area are very poor. You also find that there is no budgetary provision for building any road in the area. Road is poor, but there is no. The local people give you a representation requesting that at least one road connecting many of the villages would be a big boon to the people. They offer help in building such a road. What would you do? Okay, what is the answer? Should you or you shouldn't? What is your answer, Sunil? You agree with the answer, with his answer? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. You should. The point to be tested is that it is not simply rules. So finally, you have to do something good. So people are contributing cooperate and what you can do from your side what funds you can generate with people's cooperation so this is called involving community in development so he says request local mp try hard to get proposal approved by the next budget launch the community movement to build the road using very little government funds, invite people to contribute in material from the commitment of local people. Okay. So, why community development, how community development can be a good idea? People's participation, decentralization, how people them, themselves have come up and how administration should ideally be respond to the situations of the people. So respond to, uh, should be responsive to the needs of the people. And this is an example where people have asked. And you respond. I don't know. Am I clear? It is not simply like suddenly they came and you don't know what to do and decided, okay, I will help. Think in terms of decentralization, community development. It's an example. What should bureaucracy be? Bureaucracy's role be? And this is an instance where you can get things uh, going. So we can talk about Panchayati Raj institutions, how local Panchayati level taxation. Raj. Exactly, role of Panchayat Raj. Okay. In so fact, even, in, just one second. In fact, it is said that um, if people are coming to make a demand, that, that, that need not show the success, that may also show the failure. Failure in the sense, why shouldn't they, why? Why were not the structures adequate to capture the demand in a formal way? What is Panchayat Raj doing? What was, how was planning done? So a protest, a representation is a failure of the formal process or the failure or inadequacy of the formal process. 
So these things should have been captured formally. Why I am making this point is that if Panchayat Raj was more effective, then things like this won't come. It is not that the bureaucracy wants to do something and people want something else. But why should that gap be there in the first place? That gap should not have been there. That gap was there because Panchayat Raj was not functioning properly, underfunded. So giving funds to Panchayat Raj institutions would help. Okay, so you give a general picture and then say, this is the context and this should be encouraged. But in general, this whole things can be. I mean, that is what, that is what I propose. Not narrowly, you are there out of sudden, suddenly they came and they gave you a dilemma and what to do. One, two or three options. What do you say, Devansh? Yes, sir. I mean, we can follow that same approach in introduction. We can uh, tell the core issue. Mm. And here it is about decentralization and mm. failure of formal processes. Mm. Mm. And similarly, in conclusion also, then we can give a bigger picture or long-term solution bigger picture. or something like that. So take it as an aspect of political system, administrative system, economy. See, let me tell you, I have no way of how to make your answer different from others, except through placing it in the larger context. And remember, if students may know they have to place it in a larger context, even after knowing place, you have to place in a larger context, it is not easy to do so. So there, your understanding of the political system, your understanding of role of bureaucracy, your understanding of what creates an ideal political system comes in answering this question. In stuff narrowly, I mean, students approach is that an officer is sitting, he's busy, busy following the rules. Some crowd came and said, we will give money, why don't you do it? Officer is confused, don't know what to do. Then options. Not like that. So place it in the larger context of political and economic and social system. How towards creation of a better political system, what is an administrator expected to do? Only in that way, you write a better answer. Oh. But when we do Cooper, we will raise these issues. Okay, I'm just, we, we're doing these case studies because I just want to know, want to tell you, this is what the, this is what the exam is. Many examples are like, many exam oriented examples. Okay, the author gives the dilemma, but I think it is in a very narrow way. Okay, this is very good. Facing a question, uh, 109, 109. Ajay Patel just joined in, as a junior officer in an important department of central government. He's asked to prepare a reply to a parliamentary question. Taking the task seriously, he prepares a very detailed and authentic reply. Senior examines it and wants him to delete aspects not specifically asked for, including some material uncomplimentary to the department. Options. Obey his senior and rewrite. Try to convince the senior of the importance of being transparent and ethical. Request the senior to assign the editing task to another officer in the department. Can you think of more options? Which one should you recommend? This is a very typical question. So basically some bad things reported, he's a senior didn't want. Obey the senior and rewrite the reply. Yes or no? Very clearly no. Okay. Try to convince the senior of the importance of being 
you can try but whether he will be convinced or not request the senior to assign an editing task third one is about running away don't choose this option resigning running away okay request to transfer no blindly obey no okay but tell me what actually political and bureaucratic significance of this issue what is the political significance of this because through parliament you are informing the people you are finally responsible to the people parliament is not an institution where the government should should shy from reporting it is government's responsibility to uh, inform the people and parliament is the institution and you are doing that function department getting a bad name so what so if uh, it is uh, identifying some limitation and it should correct that's all so what is the purpose of parliamentary inquiry what is the purpose role of the parliament in this process and how is bureaucracy connected to the parliament okay bureaucracy gives an expert opinion an expert assistance to to a system which is otherwise run by elections majority okay so bureaucrat gives that knowledge it explains this role so it's about role of parliament and the role of bureaucracy and so why it is important to give what do you say mayank yes sir. so the accountability of the exactly. government to the parliament it is about accountability parliamentary form of democracy people sovereignty and in that the role of bureaucracy and you can think of diagrams in this what kind of diagrams you want to deepthi are you following yes sir hmm only when you define broadly you have something to write otherwise your answer is very narrow because obviously you can't tell you can't rewrite to the senior that's too silly give the task to somebody why you can ask your job to be given to somebody why only this task if you can't do you don't want to do one pleasant things okay try to yes so so provide the garbage okay uh 117 117 being cautious for the sake of safety a seed company has developed a chemical additive that increases the storage life and yield of seeds used for commercial plant crops the company is located in concerns of the union minister who is keen on releasing the product in the market as soon as possible bhuvana officer in union minister of environment she has to approve the field trials of the product environmentalists have been casting doubts on the safety of the product a closely related chemical used as a pesticide is reported to have caused birth defects and illness among animals in some farms after studying the situation bona concluded that the further testing in the lab is called for before the product is even approved for field trials agriculture ministry is putting pressure on the environment to approve what should handle obviously what should she do reject right versus wrong okay so tell me what is the bigger picture here sir health huh health health issue okay and then uh, chemicals pesticides impact on the environment environment and health related issues okay normally what kind of safety procedures are needed how things can percolate to uh, field to animals and animals to humans so 
So what is the information that you know? And so how things can be dangerous and why ministers should be informed that this is a complicated cycle. It is not simply about introducing uh, because the consequences can be very, very great. They may not be, but they can be. You have to be careful about this. So where do you locate the question? Agriculture, environment, bioengineering, and biosafety protocols. And uh, what is the safety? But do you follow, actually, the, <laughs> why I said that ethics and essay are not, don't have independent information. They are derived papers. They're just derived. You have to know about other things and then you are putting it here, what you know about other things. They're derived. Because the questions are too diverse. So this is about the health, the environment. And next comes the issue of um, ability and the duty to disagree with the power. Reminding him, this is the information. He may not have that information. Okay, so there is an issue. This is a scientific issue, health issue. But then comes to bureaucracy versus politician link. Okay, and finally, the role of bureaucrat. Remember, as one student said, okay, um, I'll post that video also, but Divyas is much better. Um, he said that finally, that is uh, Raghavendra, who also got good marks. Uh, he said, finally, you write in terms of ethical issues. You just can't write about simply um, biotechnology and this, but finally, it is about ethics. Okay, ethics of a huge damage may be possible and why you should stop it. The ethics of somebody superior is telling you, but why you should disobey. Okay, so all these strands should be there in your answer. I would say, let us now call it in your essay. Think of it as an essay. It is for how many marks? 20. Twenty, right? How many marks? Twenty. Hmm? Twenty, right? It's a paper. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty each. Twenty. Six case studies. So 20 each, six case studies, so ah, one exactly. 20. That is uh, double that of uh, section A question. Double. Okay. So, uh, so at each step you look at, uh, do this. See, why I like Divya's approach is that there is uh, earlier, there were people who were trained by are trained or I don't know whether they whether what the teachers actually said. There is one institute by Lukman Institute in Delhi. He became very famous and uh, he he gave some simple formula like these are the stakeholders that this. So students who are trained, one of my students went there, just said, sir, there's a very simple method, stakeholders, these are the principles, done done done. They were just writing. Without actually looking at the case and uh, without seeing how, without seeing whether this case is unique, they just um, simply you can say just um, breaking it into pieces and then giving a standardized uh, answer. But later, some people told me they did that and they didn't get any marks. Very different. And I found that in those answers, some meaningless answers are coming in that, in that mechan mechanical approach. This is the principle, these are the stakeholders, and these are the steps. Like that. 
I felt where is teacher's insight? Where is the student's insight in this answer? Why should he get marks? And then I felt that you follow that format, but give your own insight. That was that was my advice to the students at that time. This happened two years ago. I mean, what I see is that if there is an answer, is it is the answer qualitatively superior? in the sense that not everybody can write okay so when i apply that criteria to divya's answers i found that not everybody can write divya's answers and they are qualitatively superior it calls for knowledge it calls for application it calls for uh, systems thinking oral approach so i found that that is better i mean i am convinced so it is not that somehow she got marks of course of course some people can get it somehow but i found that uh, uh, these are better that, that is the reason why i am discarding my own previous uh, modes of answering and going by Her approach, okay. So it is here she would write about bio safety standards. Normally, what is the thing, and then she can bring to the other issues of political system, bureaucracy, and other things. Let me tell you, I am going to do political system, bureaucracy, ethics in a very systematic way. I like that book, and if we have more. you want to do more we can go even beyond that but i found that is the best book okay but what that book doesn't give you is that it doesn't deal with the specifics like this so these specifics you should get from general studies knowledge okay that gives a philosophy of civil services okay mm. sir mm, please in this case study uh, the option also says that uh, seek mm. transfer No, no, no! Please don't seeking transfer, give the case to others, resign. No, these are all escaping systems. No, definitely not. There are two things very clearly. No, following blindly your superior, seeking transfer or giving the task to somebody else, unless you yourself are accused. You cannot be a judge in your own case when you yourself are. accused when there is a conflict of interest then it is your responsibility to ask to be relieved of that position okay your brother is involved in the case and then you cannot say i will investigate impartially no you may investigate impartially but still people may say it is because your brother so the best thing is my brother is involved so please let others do it that is not a case of evasion of responsibility so that is the way you handle what is called conflict of interest conflict of interest conflict of interest is one issue okay so where are we there is some technical issue number 1 and after that there is a broader political system and then after that political system to bureaucracy connection and in that connection or in all these connections what are the issues so i am expecting you and asking you to write more like an essay i would call it an essay 20 marks and how many words can you target out for 20 marks 300 words 300 words If one fifty words for a ten marks, the twenty marks, three hundred words. So, so it is a very big essay. Three hundred words. Three hundred words. My God. It means uh, if you are planning thousand word essay, and it's huge. Okay. Hmm. So, in fact, I was thinking that. My own calm. So I was thinking that the examples that we're going to use in section A. so they can form hmm. a basis for understanding these case studies 
like there are larger issues surrounding these exactly cases. that is true but in section a so far we did not do civil service part yes sir. we did everything we did philosophy in general western thought indian thought okay mm, section a questions are not civil, civil service oriented only section a questions are in general and essay is in general okay what we did is useful to part of section a and essay part of section a and essay okay what we did is most useful to essay and then part of section a okay what is another part of section a more civil service oriented and then section b civil service plus general studies so one huge component that is remaining is civil service but compared to what we did civil service is easy but compared to these cases civil service is more difficult i mean more depth so what we did has the maximum depth next civil service next depth and this is very shallow okay so when there is shallow we cover it in a way there is more depth is possible so we covered maximum depth next depth is civil service and then this this is the case ah deepthi please uh oh, sir i went through divya's answer sheets hmm. of some test series hmm. uh she was using philosophical angles in the case studies as well like categorical That's... imperative hmm. saint augustine's quotations that is true hmm. you can forward it. even i have her papers uh, i can forward what i have fine i'll post but you can also post and uh, you can take some answers so i felt because she already answered the actual questions she attempted in the examination i didn't see the need to go through other papers okay you can forward i have her papers she wrote test series in vision okay in um, fact she took coaching from so many institutes it's uh, so many institutes have claimed hmm. okay hmm. okay deepthi Uh, sir i have another question uh, oh. no just one second her to her question she used a philosophical angle she used philosophical angle because her optional was philosophy if your optional was political science do it from political science point of view okay, okay. okay. if psychology psychology the point is give depth don't simply say he asked me and i have three options and why that option no because if these are really challenging cases then the way you solve them would shock the examiner but they are not like that <laughs> so how can there be any differentiation when the question is obvious and the answer is obvious isn't it so what she did is she placed it in the larger context and answer and that is not easy <laughs> so i found that is better instead of some sim simple formula of stakeholder situation and then this and then reduce it to a formula okay ha ah, deepthi please uh, sir and Yes, sir. I have another question. Mm -hmm. uh, again, referring to the various answer sheets. Mm, sure, sure. Uh, while writing the introduction, she mm. quoted re real world controversies or real world questions from where uh, real of world course. happenings from where the question was picked up. For example, exactly. the exactly yes. For example, uh, the bureaucrat whether he should lay the road using people's contributions. Mm, mm. Uh, for example, uh, Manipur one IAS did that. taking exactly. labor from people yes, now but yes. if we quote it in the introduction mm. uh, doesn't the rest of the answer feel like uh, we are directly giving the answer whatever he did for example that no, ias no. officer did something no no that is what the purpose of introduction is right introduction should serve the purpose of these things if she has one striking introduction that's okay but i don't know about that specific example but introduction should should serve the purpose of these three things i understood the question and i know the answer and number three this is the direction of my answer and conclusion can differ uh sir my doubt is suppose in the introduction i will write uh, so and so ias officer from manipur he laid a road uh, uh, 
using people's contributions that's uh, fine now now if, if for the rest of the answer whatever i write he can take uh, he can invite the youth whatever i write uh, mm. will it seem like i simply picked up whatever that officer did and put it in my answer there is no innovation will it no, feel you, like that no you explain the way we did role of participation panchayati raj system decentralization responsible administration and all those things you give a theoretical perspective okay okay sir i want you to place the issue in the larger political and administrative system okay it is not that you just say one officer and i am going to do because that officer did not like that okay sir got it hmm larger 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 administrative finally it is administrative and ethical these two things you should never forget remember whatever is finally about administration and ethical and these two never forget that whatever you write it's finally about administration and ethics that is called administrative ethics okay so the paper most part actually in 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 more recent years most of it is coming as administrative ethics okay but on certain general issues it is like that so this is you can say this administrative ethics okay so administrative ethics. just one second so this is about administrative ethics so we did ethics in general we just have to focus on administrative ethics that's all mm -hmm. please so in 2019 uh, when i wrote means so they asked case studies not just on specific uh, say not in specific situations as such but there were two three case studies based on administrative theory also uh, so general mm. administrative issues mm. without any specifics fine so so how how, uh, how you did on administrative theories No, no. So the questions themselves were uh, on administrative. Ah, that's true. They asked on Weber, and uh, yes, so the case happened. studies itself. Are... Fine. There are. We will do them. Sir, we'll do them. basically, uh, the are... questions are on criticism of Weber's Weberian model. Hmm. We'll do that next. Oh. Sir, uh, two uh, options uh, which are given in these answers. Hmm. first is asking for written uh, orders and second about being a whistle blower huh. so we will come to that we will come to that we'll just let us do these these things one one seven next mm. next one one nine trapped by a free ticket mm. mohin is a senior officer in the city's development authority one day an is colleague invited her to join him at an ipl cricket match when she went to witness the match mohini found herself in a special box meant for vips not only that present in the box was arun one of the directors of alpha construction a big builder in the city mohini felt very uncomfortable for a good reason in her office she had been reviewing an application from alpha for the approval of a very big real estate project located next to a lake and the project had already become a controversial one with citizens and ngo protesting against it at the ipl match mohini had exchange pleasantries with director Though she announced that she would not discuss any issue concerning building projects, there was inevitable an exchange of views on the city's real estate matters. So when she returned home, she felt she had to take some action to protect herself from any potential trouble. List her options and evaluate them. Which is the best option for her, and why is that so? This is more about administration. So what was the issue? Basically, there is a way, a very likelihood that. she can be perceived that she was close and she did something there or she offered his hospitality or and she might be biased okay so that's why trapped by a free ticket this is one real case real life is also like this bureaucrats life so what are the answers
సో అన్నోయింగ్లీ ల్యాండింగ్ ఇన్ అనైతికల్ సిచ్యువేషన్ ఓకే ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ యాజ్ షీ సేస్ దట్ అవాయిడ్ సిచ్యువేషన్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇన్ ఫ్యూచర్ హూ ఈస్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ దట్ కెనాట్ దట్ కెనాట్ డెఫినెట్లీ బి యాక్సిడెంటల్ సో హూ డిడ్ దిస్ అండ్ హౌ టు అవాయిడ్ అ సిచ్యువేషన్ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ దెన్ బిఫోర్ దిస్ so he says long term measures to prevent the recurrence of the situation have the determination to be more careful in the future write a memo to the chief sir describing all that happened and rescue herself rescue herself from handling all her case no definitely not express her unhappiness my okay so uh, of course it depends upon how serious the case is if if the case is serious it is better to report what has happened and why she found found herself in that situation and then um avoid future what what cannot be the right answer is that since i have not done any wrong i don't care about i don't have to bother about it is not that simple so because it is a public place and uh, so sense to controversial and it is very important that is the reason bureaucrat has to be careful with whom he is going with whom he is seen with and how his presence may be misused by others regardless of what he actually is so appearances matter appearances matter okay of course the political scientist will quote machiavelli here yeah i had one political science student i mean from ethics i many times he would write he would write from political science very interesting for example if you are sure about machiavelli you would write you can start with a quotation what matters is not real but appearances so he said that the prince has to be careful about appearance he should appear to be generous kind that this though he should be prepared not to be so why because what matters is appearance whether you whether you people think you are compromised or not makes difference whether you have actually done it or not okay so appearances matter and do something about it that should be because this is a case she did not do anything knowing she she was not she didn't do anything wrong she was she just found herself in such a situation so how you can undo it so so no recusal hmm what is no recusal uh, she should no. not recuse she was there finally what to do she can't run away after that she was there she went on her own she didn't know that uh, it was like that i mean she she should have refused the uh, ticket you mean no sir the third option she, uh, says that uh, she should recuse herself from handling the alpha case definitely no 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 running away no very clear no don't run away because you didn't do anything wrong it is not a clash of interests not like that some people may misunderstand this that's all clear that misunderstanding definitely running away is not an option next But, sir so mm. if she doesn't recuse and uh, won't people uh, have this feeling that she that has to explain she will explain this what happened of course in the days of twitter she can explain very clearly even otherwise she can explain that's all 
there is a, remember you bother about appearances but not when the real things are affected very seriously you have not done anything and people appear think like that no you don't go by if is you have to you can't go by the opinion of the mob you take their opinion into account but does not mean you should go by it no okay you are there to change the opinions you are there to educate that's part of your duty responsibility Like sir but if you remain and if even then you if it happens that you are giving the contract to alpha or you are sanctioning the contract then it might appear that you have colluded exactly that is why you should explain but it does not mean you run away there is always a possibility but that's what life is so explaining to people or the uh, higher explaining authority to the concerned people that this what happened what happened that day and later if there is any such thing explain but don't run away from delivering justice on the ground that it may be seen as unjust when you are not involved no mm, undermining the authority of a senior officer 120 variable officer for his integrity was specially chosen to be the director yeah this i like this. a new batch of probationers joined the academy as it often happens one of the probationers took liking okay okay one of his prob as it often happens one of the probationers ravi took liking for another probationer jay in such cases if the liking is mutual the couple may get married in this case however jay was not interested in ravi and told him so clearly ravi didn't want to give up one evening at dinner time ravi once again asked jay to reconsider the decision when she refused to change her mind ravi took out a revolver and threatened her openly the other colleagues managed to contain him and took him away the matter was reported to the prakash and he ordered an inquiry by his deputy based on the report of the inquiry prakash decided that ravi was not fit to continue in the service and that his probation must be terminated the department of personnel concurred with his recommendation and ravi's probation was terminated ravi however had political connections in delhi within a month he got the termination on the reversed and triumphantly returned to the bukhagar he openly celebrated his victory prakash felt betrayed and slighted what are prakash options consequences of each one what are his options should he resign hmm? yes or no no definitely not just because he couldn't get one action approved or one action reversed doesn't mean he should run away isn't it this we discussed is it not a matter of self respect no i said that self respect is respect that one gives to oneself self respect is not given by others others have done the mistake why should you resign why should you think it is assault on your self respect no those who have given that orders should be ashamed of themselves if they have that confidence it is not you so be careful careful put them under close scrutiny and if further violations then report again do it again you don't run away isn't it so why i like this case is that some people think it is a matter of their dignity to do that no rajiv rajiv gandhi said uh, long ago of course regarding his foreign secretary he said you will be talking to my new foreign secretary soon this he announced in a press conference and this foreign secretary was so angry felt humiliated and he resigned soon after people said wow but why 
why should he resign he's just a prime minister who will be there for some time and go that's how a bureaucrat should think foreign secretary is not he's a servant so don't say chief minister insulted me and how i can't continue that fellow is there. no you continue as long as you think some good will be done by you given your options and when you don't think so you leave that's all not when somebody insults you like that okay so just say very very clearly okay think of how to protect that girl that is more important what kind of violence he may be capable of in future okay then but what is the broader picture broader Secret. picture of love sex consent gender relationship so let there be more education classes on gender relationship ask her why she doesn't want to marry him when he loves him so much and why when she doesn't want why this man is so desperate ask him to give a speech in front of everybody or even speech on how he managed to come despite the director said so so let the case be an aspect of education and that is what the training institute for let them say i try to get you out sir but i couldn't now you are superior you tell me what you have done it is like that you don't feel slighted when you don't feel insulted you feel powerful enough to make it others proud rather than yours what do you say dipti ah uh, yes sir getting that man to speak in the public exactly it will yes. make him also conscious mm -hmm. in the future exactly make him more conscious involve everybody don't run away that is rule number 1 never never run away you can of course voluntarily consciously decide to leave because you have better things to do that is different rather than running away so leaving need not always be running away you can leave very consciously and clear next 125 why should the girl justify why she doesn't i mean like that guy maybe she doesn't like her he knows what her with reason <laughs> let her let her explain just because a boy is desperate why should girl accept so that's what i'm saying why should the girl justify in the first place it's her right not to justify is right not to justify yeah she she is that is right there. it is not a right we are only humbly requesting madam will you please explain your reason we will be educated it is like that because it's in training institution people should be educated and that is the way to know about love and sex and desire that is the way to know why if somebody is so desperate why are you opposing him is qualified an ips good service maybe handsome why so that men will know how to be different and how to be how to make successful ventures and women also will be informed on the wisdom of your choices educate and that's what the training institution be for should be for and such things contribute to emotional intelligence why are doing what you are doing okay. but he was right in recommending that action because it's not about education because you are giving power to him and he can do worse things he is right in recommending that doing everything to get a high rating the vice principal of government college soon sir 
vice principal of a government college soon the accreditation committee is to inspect the college to award the rating the state education minister has been receiving a flag for the poor state of government colleges he wants the principal to make sure that your college gets an a rating you are in charge of arrangements for the committee's visit since many teaching posts have remained unfulfilled the principal has asked you to arrange for some fake faculty to be hired for the day of the visit in the same way you have to rent some essential laboratory equipment also for the day you should look after the committee members well and give them expense gifts the principal would somehow arrange for the money for all the tasks what are your options now consequences of each option what options which option would you choose why what should you do refuse all these things and explain what is going on in the field of education if you know about medical education they can write about medical education is close to medical education how invest yeah, in inspections are done fake doctors fake equipment fake laboratory fake patients and all the tamasha goes on during the inspection and once the inspector sees it everybody leaves including the patients so <laughs> this is a very serious issue and you should never be a part of it that's all you right so what has been done any committee formed so do you see they are basically the gs oriented questions and you you should look at it from an ethical point of view and uh, what are the issues involved that's all mm -hmm. otherwise what answers are possible the more if you list those choices they just look ridiculous that's what that institute did generate choices one i will obey orders <laughs> i will that, that pleases my superior one number two <laughs> what kind of options you should have the clarity to see that this is unfair and this is wrong and you should never do it very simple okay so you write what you know what is the importance what is the purpose of uh, investigation why this why this is important and why things have happened differently and with what consequences and in this you should have no rule i feel that is why many people you know were trivializing this paper what i liked in divya's answer is that she didn't trivialize one thing about this paper let me tell you is that many people have long ago concluded to do well in ethics paper number 1 you need not be personally ethical very smart decision <laughs> that is one but that may be more sensible but even more dangerous conclusion that they made is that you need not study anything you need not be ethical you need not study now they want to find out how to get more marks <laughs> it has in other papers it is not a test on character but they felt that there there should be something to study then they take an optional they don't think that there is nothing to study in that optional in fact they will be worried if there is nothing to study <laughs> because if they do nothing to study what to write that will be the question so here there are there are two things they have concluded number one they don't have to be ethical number two they don't have to study and yet get marks and why are so many people came to, why did how could they come to the conclusion like this when they did not come to the similar conclusions in other papers because i think evaluation i mean they just people are just writing writing all kinds of answers and nobody knew and they knew how to write a better answer or what actually the better answer 
It was nothing. So some were writing and some were getting marks. So on the whole, something is created that anything can go. That is why you see so many books on ethics, integrity, aptitude. Okay, it's many of them are like some smart tricks. So because the evaluators themselves didn't didn't know what what is it that they were looking for, how to make, how to distinguish. And those who are coming with good answers, they don't seem to be knowing more. So confusion is created. So in this confusion, we are trying to figure out how to make our answers really different, qualitatively different. And also apply to the, the criteria, can everybody write like this? Is there a depth in this answer? Assuming that in other papers, this is regarded as depth. This is regarded as the quality. In other papers, this is regarded as the quality. Can there be quality here also? When the answer is obvious. I mean, these are all the dilemmas I have. I mean, you can correct. This is what how I learned. Because when ethics paper introduced, I mean, I started from first year onwards and we did really well. In one year, we got high scores in interview, ethics and essay. Okay, not by one person, but two, three people. So we, we felt we are cracked. We are so good at these three papers. But very soon we started losing control over ethics paper. It became more administration oriented, all kinds of GS questions. We just didn't know what is this? What, what is this about? And then we were trying to figure out, okay. So one video by Raghavendra and Naveen brought some clarity. And then last year we did some questions with depth. And now with the viewers. Because we are not able to uh, effectively answer the criticism that with or without course, marks are the same or marks better. Though we have understood more. So what are they evaluating? When are they giving and when are they not giving? So otherwise, what kind of questions? You know, these are not two marks, three marks, the 20 marks. So we are just trying to find out um, how to write an answer when the, the, in such a way that when the examiner reads it, this is really good. Okay, you have something to say? I mean, this, these are the problems that I faced. Devansh, you have something to say? Sir, uh, two questions. Sir, mm -hmm. first, uh, related mm -hmm. to the overall approach, Devya mm -hmm. broke down the questions into parts. But sir, exactly. you say that we have to target holistically. And uh, so is there a difference? Because she said that I will write two headings. I will break it down, break it down, break it down. That is true. That is true. Um, but uh, that's true. We have to see the questions. We will look at the nature of the questions. Till now, we were operating totally, but at some places we were breaking. We will see. But breaking it into parts is one. Break it into parts. But I know you coming to today's questions. For example, we said the environment and health, and then the political system, bureaucracy, bureaucracy and ethics. So we are doing all. Yes, sir. So uh, that mm. we can follow that, uh, not just can, pinpoint, but follow, follow that. Depth. But we will see wherever it can be broken and answered. 
I understood the point. I I myself made that point. We will see. Sir, uh, because today I was watching your video on answer writing. So there mm -hmm. also you said that uh, give a holistic picture and mm -hmm. answer holistically. But uh, nowadays many toppers they they are a fan of breaking down questions into five parts. I mean n number of parts. That's true. For almost all the papers. That's true. Breaking into is a better strategy. Breaking, it is not that you miss the holistic thing. Through breaking, you get more information. That is what I understood. It is not that you, you answer every part and make it meaningless. I don't know if I am clear to you. It is just that by breaking, you get more points. That is what I understood. Am I clear, Devansh? Yes, sir. Uh, break down, get parts, but link them and present a big picture. Exactly. Exactly. What I understood about this examination is you have to write more. More points, more dimensions, more examples, more. Of course, to the more with the same quality. So there is a Given the given the quality, given reasonable quality, quantity seems to have a an edge in getting marks. That's what I understood. So, if you can break down and then generate more points, it helps. That's what I understood. So, uh, we were having this debate among us people who are writing. So, uh, so, so in case of GS one two three, writing mm. more points, unloading more information, or explaining two three points instead of writing five six points. So, among us, we, we found know. we don't know if the points are silly, but otherwise, five six points are better than two points. So, but the time and the word limit doesn't allow us to explain. The relevance of those five six points to the question that is why within the constraints within the constraints of the time within the constraints of the time five six points make better point than than two i have one way of conveying this i mean i don't know if you have what is the time now mm. okay for example eh car is a historian i this is my good example car is an historian and is also a professor. In his book, What is History? He said one, he made one very important point. He said, in an examination, if the question is, what caused Russian revolution? He said, a student who writes 10 points should pass the exam. And a student who writes one point should get first class. Why writing one point is difficult because he has to eliminate many other causes. Carr thinks that is quality education. But I would say in UPSC, what Carr thinks third class pass appears to be the first class in UPSC. That is what I understood. Take time. 